what's up youtube os channel here with a new video on ncdu this is one of the commands that every linux user or sysad should know it will help you find the files that are slowly taking up your disk space and are hidden in some corners of your file system so in order to scan your file system all you have to do is just type ncdu and then the absolute path or you can also type the relative path for now we'll just type dot which will scan the current directory for us sometimes it may take a few minutes if you are running it for the first time but this is what the output would look like it will first show you what is the current directory that it has scanned then it will show you the list of files arranged in the size order and at the bottom it will show you the total disk usage and the number of items inside the directory you can navigate this interface with the help of arrow keys and you can hit the right arrow key or enter to go inside a specific directory you can select this first double dots to go back to the previous directory or you can just hit left key from whichever directory you are on and it will take back you to your parent directory then speaking of uh, the arrangement the output is arranged in not a specific format the files and directories are mixed so you can hit the t key on your keyboard the small t to arrange it in such a way that the directories will come first and then the files so now we have all the directories at the top and all the files at the bottom but still arranged in size order let's scan the slash directory but before that let me show you my partition structure so i have a slash directory on separate partition and slash boot on one partition so if i do sudo by the way since i don't have access to all the files on slash i have to append sudo to ncdu and then slash which will scan the slash directory this may take a while but since I've already scanned it the second time it happens, it happens more faster. So right now it has included this boot partition for us. But if we want to exclude this, you can add a dash X flag. And what this will do is it will just search the slash partition or the current directory that we are giving. So let's say we give slash then it won't go outside slash and into some other partitions so now if we hit enter you could see that slash boot has been excluded from the scan and it now reports zero bytes also the disk usage has been changed and the total number of items have changed let's go inside the where directory and let's say let's go inside the log directory now sometimes uh, arranging the files in size order doesn't help much and you may have to delete the older files by dates so there is no provision to actually arrange the files in date order but what you can do is you can just hit n on your keyboard and that will arrange the files in name format so this will actually help you find the older files and you can delete them once you find it so in order to delete the file you can hit the d key on your keyboard and it will send you a prompt and you can either press yes to delete or don't ask me again and it won't prompt you so next time if you press d after selecting don't ask me it will directly delete the file i have seen a lot of people accidentally deleting some important files from the system so to be cautious what you can do is you can i'll just get rid of this dash x so you can run the ncdu command with a dash r flag and what this does is it will run let's go back to var log and arrange it by name by pressing the n key so now if you try to delete a specific important file let's say like i was deleting the cups folder so if i press d it will say that file deletion is disabled in read only mode so speaking of which what you can do is you can press the b key on your keyboard b for beta and that will send you inside a shell and since you had sudo typed 
it will also switch you to root and if you check now you are inside var log directory and you can then delete the file using rm command or something like that or you can also truncate the file using a truncate command so i'll just hit ctrl d to exit from root and that will take me back to ncdu there are some more toggles that you guys may like first let us arrange this by size by pressing the s key on my keyboard and let's say you want to display the number of files inside a specific directory you can hit the c key on your keyboard and it will display the approximate number of files inside this specific directory you can just hit c again to switch it back uh, you can also change the way this middle graph is displayed by pressing the g key and it will instead show the percentage of disk space utilized by that folder if you press it again it can show you both the graph as well as the percentage you can keep pressing it and so it keeps toggling between the percentage graph both as well as none so that's all guys from ncdu command so guys thanks for watching the video and if you like the video hit the like button below this video and please subscribe to the channel for more similar videos thanks for watching this is os channel signing off